Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gather this day to give thanks and praise to Almighty God. Let us once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful, and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant that through their intercession we may regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Sirach. Blessed the husband of a good wife, twice lengthened are his days. A worthy wife brings joy to her husband, peaceful and full is his life. A good wife is a generous gift bestowed upon him who fears the Lord. Be he rich or poor, his heart is content and a smile is ever on his face. A gracious wife delights her husband her thoughtfulness puts flesh on his bones. A gift from the Lord is her governed speech, and her firm virtue is of surpassing worth. Choicest of blessings is a modest wife, priceless her chaste soul. A holy and decent woman adds grace upon grace. Indeed, no price is worthy of her temperate soul. Like the sun rising in the Lord's heavens, the beauty of a virtuous wife is the radiance of her home. The Word of the Lord. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. 
This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. the feast of St. Monica and the gospel of the widow who lost her only son have some unique parallels. The most interesting one, the most obvious one, is that of faith, having faith in God. Monica was prepared for God to intervene in the life of her son, Augustine. There again, he was not uh, really focused on the church in his younger years, and in fact, was more aligned with his father, who was not Christian. And yet she continued to pray. She knew that God would intervene in the life of her son. She didn't know when, where, or how. She simply knew that God would hear her prayer. In the gospel, the mother has given back her son through the mercy of God. And that is the desire of God. That whether or not in this life we experience those things we call miracles, that we pray for and hope for, whether it happens or not, in the end run, we shall all be united in God's kingdom. We also hear in John's gospel, we remember from so many funeral liturgies, I go to prepare a place for you, and at the appointed time I will come back and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. That unique unity that God prayed for, the Lord himself, that oneness he desired for all of his followers, will ultimately be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. For those times that we truly experience the intervention of God in this life, let us be truly thankful and grateful. Let us never forget or run to the next thing. Well, thanks, God. Now I need dot, dot, dot. Let us not be selfish children of the Lord, but let us always be thankful for the Lord's grace and blessing, for the strengthening of our faith, as he draws us together, as we celebrate word and sacrament this day, may we truly find grace, mercy, healing, and blessing. My sisters and brothers, as we celebrate and live our faith this day, let us offer our petitions to God, who always listens with mercy and compassion. That as we preach the gospel in word and through our actions, may many come to know Christ and find salvation. We pray to the Lord. That all who serve in public office may promote policies that pres preserve the values of Christ and his church. We pray to the Lord that all first and frontline responders may be blessed with compassion and renewed by the grace of the Spirit each day as they strive to meet the needs of those they are called to serve, heal, and protect. We pray to the Lord that all those who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. God of mercy, help us to recognize your love in our daily lives and follow the path of your Son, Jesus Christ, for he is the way that leads us to you. Through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, we present these sacrificial gifts as we commemorate the Feast of St. Monica. In your love, grant us pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their achievements, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. Through their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and archangels, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask. By that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Monica, Saint Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may this sacrifice of all reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Pope Francis, Alberto the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, let us once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Delivered from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, let us offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O Lord, on this feast day of St. Monica, we have been renewed and strengthened by the gift of your Son in the Eucharist. May we be purified by the effects of the Eucharist and always be mindful of the grace it brings. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. We go forth each day to love and serve the Lord. <laughs>